Hi there, Tamara Doris, your Sacramento real estate professional. And now I may be beating a dead horse because I know I've done videos on pre-approval before, but I want to share a story that I just heard yesterday, and I think it kind of hits home the idea of why this is so important. I know an agent who was really excited and eager to work with a buyer. This buyer happened to have almost $30,000 in the bank. Fabulous, right? So this buyer, just by going on a website or, or I don't know, a friend of a friend, had an idea of what she was able to afford. And so she was looking in that price range and she expressed to this agent, here's where I want to live, here's the price range I can afford. And this agent, who was a newer agent, was very excited and very happy to help this buyer find a home. So they look at homes, they look at homes, they look at homes. Then they finally find the home that the buyer wants. Great, right? So they write up the offer and she discovers that the buyer did not have that letter of pre-approval. I should say that coveted letter of pre-approval. So she scurries around to her lender to get a letter of pre-approval, and guess what? Here's a big shock. The buyer didn't qualify for that amount. Well, now the buyer has in her head that this is the home that she wants, and who's she going to blame it on? Probably the real estate agent, right? Because our job as realtors is to educate our consumer, to educate our buyers, to educate our sellers, to represent them, to negotiate on their behalf, to communicate with them. And unfortunately, this was a very hard lesson for this agent to learn because the buyer then was disappointed and distraught over the whole situation and said, you know what, I'm not even going to buy a house. And maybe she turned around and bought it from another agent. I don't know. But here's the point. If you're a buyer... And, and I realize that the Internet offers so many opportunities for us to figure out what kind of houses we want to see, how much money we probably qualify for, and a whole menagerie of other things. However, when it comes down to it, you've got to look at it this way. A licensed realtor doesn't cost you a penny when you are a buyer. Okay, The seller pays the commission. So the bottom line is, why in the world would you want to just assume or just do the research yourself? It's like me saying, I don't need an attorney. I'm just going to go ahead and look it all up on Google. It's not very smart. There are other things besides what you think or what some website tells you you can afford. For example, have you calculated in closing costs? Do you know what closing costs are? And do you know what you'll be responsible for when it comes to the closing costs? So there's a whole bunch of things that you need to know as a buyer. And really, really, your first bet, instead of wasting your time and spinning your wheels and looking at houses or finding a list of houses and sending an agent uh, addresses, please show me this, please show me that, make sure you're pre-approved. So whether you start with a reputable lender or a reputable realtor, please start there because otherwise your home search is, is not going to end up in the, with the results you want. Um, houses, the good houses, the good buys are going so quickly, it's important that you take this step in the right way. So again, my name is Tamara Doris. I hope I wasn't too hard on you today. If you have any questions, just please call me at 916-482-5834 and I hope you have a wonderful day.